I caught our first team member a little off guard. I have a question for you. Yes. You ready? So why do you provide online resources for your students? Uh, because I want to extend learning and instruction beyond the classroom so that students are able to continue their learning even when they're at home or should they miss class for any particular reason, they can uh, continue to learn and so they're not completely dependent upon me to spoon feed them all the information that they need. Oh, the spoon feeding. Yes. Trying to like avoid that. that, right? Yes. I, my children are too old now for me to spoon feed them, so <laughs> I don't want to spoon feed anyone ever again. As are your high school students. Oh, they're way beyond that, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. You're beautiful. Thanks. You too. And that was Timmy Taylor. He was not in a very good mood because I had just walked in out of the hallway into his classroom, made fun of him for coloring something, and then asked him that question. Then we got to talking, and he had another answer. Mr. Taylor, once again. <laughs> well, hi, Mr. Taylor. Uh, so I see that you're coloring, and since I know that's a large part of biology is coloring things, uh, what <laughs> why don't you, uh, what, what, what is all this about? What are you coloring stuff for? Uh, I'm actually making an answer key, but um, the, what we do is uh, I, I do this whole big section on the anatomy of the skeleton, and so we go through all the bones, and I used to lecture about this, and it was the most boring, painful lecture I give ever. And so instead of doing that, I went ahead and I made a screencast of my lecture, which was nice because I condensed it down to about 20 minutes total. And uh, I put it on YouTube, and I put it on Blackboard, and my students can watch it, and they can rewind it and pause it or fast forward if I get really boring. And then, instead of having them just like copy down notes, I give them the study guide, and they have to label their diagrams, they color code them, they learn all the bones through this, they have models they play with, and when they're done, uh, they've learned all the bones of the skull without just having to hear me blah, blah, blah about it for two periods. And since we've just heard you blah, blah, blah for way too long, Thank you. You're welcome. We have the man, Greg Mason. How's what, it going? Uh, wh why, why exactly, Greg, do you provide online resources for your students? Uh, I provide online resources to help students out at any time. So if they, for instance, are struggling and it's 12 o'clock in the morning, they can't just come in the next day and say, I didn't know how to do that, Mr. Mason. I had no idea. Especially because I usually give them a couple days to do it. So, yeah, the bow in case you <laughs> It's a school. I know. Uh, so yeah, it's great, and, and because that way I kind of differentiate, like those who need the help, have the help, those who don't, don't have to use it, so that's, I guess, in a nutshell why I do it. In a nutshell, Mr. Greg Mason, thank you very much. And just in case you thought old dogs can't learn new tricks. And here we have Mr. Dennis Albert Einstein Dudley. Why do you use online resources for your class? Well, <clears throat> uh, I think originally it was uh, the whole flipped classroom idea, and uh, my uh, idealistic uh, attempt was that they were going to uh, listen to a lot of my lectures uh, online, out of class, and then we can do more hands-on, more one-on-one -on -one instruction from me in class. Now, you know, of course, uh, a lot of students don't do regular homework, so asking them to um, listen to me uh, drone on to them um, at their homes uh, probably was too much to ask. But, but what it morphed into was um, I have online lectures, I have uh, online problem solving uh, for problem sets so that they can go to um, Blackboard anytime they want and they can see some additional instruction. Now sometimes I actually do bring it into the classroom and so we're always doing several different things in my class. So sometimes I actually do the uh, I assign that they have to listen to the lecture. Um, that's part of their assignment. So some of them choose to do that in class, some of them choose to do it out of class. Um, so it just uh, mixes things up a little bit, plus it also gives them this opportunity to, to be instructed um, or to be, re to be reviewed on the topic uh, just about any time they want. All right, so mostly out-of-class resources, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, there, it's, uh, it's a situation where um, they have the, it's an additional opportunity for them. It's really just uh, another way. And, and sometimes it's not even me, sometimes it's Khan Academy, sometimes it's Mr. Mason, sometimes it's Mr. Davis, um, because we have a situation where we can um, put things from each other's class in our Blackboard site. So, you know, sometimes hearing someone explain something other than me, uh, they get a different point of view and sometimes something clicks and it's just a little bit better that way. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay.
So what we want to do is maximize student learning by providing learning opportunities and self-tutoring opportunities for these students outside the classroom. We also want to minimize the time of us standing in front of the class presenting the basic information that they can pick up from a book, from a video, from wherever, and not have to listen to us give it to them. It provides us with time, opportunities in class to do the things which are much more exciting and much better for student learning. And the camera's a little bit off. You just kind of twist it a little bit because you're, you're not level. So what we want to do is maximize poop. Just keep going. That was Timmy the fish <laughs> Keep going. He was coloring something. I'm not even looking at the right place. I surrendered to your design. And that was Timmy Taylor. I just walked in, out of the hallway, into his classroom, and asked to classroom. What is a classroom? Stop. Why do I what? Can you say that again? <laughs>